<sighs> decisions. I hate making decisions on tough matters. Which career do I choose? Which topic do I want to study? Should I go visit my gran in hospital or get another rank on Overwatch? I tell you, it's tough times. Video games too seem to have an issue with decisions, as most choice systems in recent titles are about as engaging as a dead-eyed prostitute not really caring which route you take. Read into that what you will. They usually rely on colour palettes of reds and blues, paragons and renegades, shooting a homeless man in the face or buying him a mansion. It's all just too binary. So when a game actually comes along with a really difficult choice, I love and loathe it. Finally, my my actions mean something, but have I got the guts to pull the trigger? Like my sexual orientation, who the hell knows? But what I do know is that I'm JulesWhatCulture.com and here are 8 video games to force you to answer nearly impossible questions. Number 8. Spec Ops The Line Deep in enemy territory, the 33rd have rounded up a group of innocent civilians, as well as Agent Gould. Ghouls, always believe in your soul. That one's for the Fando Ballets out there. Is a leader of the refugees who's already saved your team on more than one occasion. He's also responsible for saving the lives of countless civilians from the Merciless 33rd. Now that he's been captured, his interrogators are slowly killing off the other prisoners in order to extract information. Information that could prove vital. Do you attempt to save Agent Ghoul from his captors, thereby putting the civilians in the line of fire? Or prioritize the lives of civilians over Ghouls? In both cases, action must be taken. One option is a direct assault, and the other is a more tactical offensive that minimizes the risk of innocent casualties. I suppose the decision really comes down to boldness or subtlety. In war, either could prove correct depending on the situation. But the one thing you can guarantee, like many of the decisions throughout Spec Ops The Line, is that neither choice will result in the desired outcome. It's less about trying to mediate a peaceful solution, but rather minimize the destructive consequences of whatever you decide to do. Number 7. Fallout 3 – The Pit Formerly Pittsburgh, the pit has become a haven for slavers to exploit the work of countless people who occupy the city. Under the rule of Lord Asher, order is maintained by using intimidation and deadly force, with the slaves being essentially beaten and murdered if they refuse to work in the steel mill, producing weapons, equipment, and more heavy metal than obese Opeth fans for their masters. Though Asher may sound irredeemably evil, he attempts to justify his actions by using the troglodyte degeneration contagion, also known as White Lightning Cider here in the UK, which is a nasty disease that prevents childbirth and eventually turns those infected into mindless beasts who attack on sight. Under such conditions, Asher therefore argues that the pit would not be able to sustain itself without the use of slave labour. However, Asher's daughter Marie may embody a possible cure to the contagion. She also represents a bargaining chip for the people of the pit to finally end their perpetual slavery. So you're left with a choice, do you kidnap Marie in order to end the slavery in the pit? or allow her mother and father to continue their research and possibly one day cure the troglodyte degeneration contagion. Either way, you're gonna have to kill a lot of flashbacks to get back to the wasteland, so happy hunting, and maybe try not to think about how you're a far more destructive force than either side in this case. Number 6. Mass Effect 2 the Geth have been a plague on the galaxy since they were created by the Quarians to act as a source of slave labour. See, again with the slave labour uprising, it's almost like, I don't know, maybe it's not a good idea to have slaves? Anyway, gaining sentience as you do, the Geth quickly turned on their masters and decimated their numbers to mere thousands. Whoops a daisy, bet making them super strong, super agile and capable of outgunning you doesn't seem so hot now does it, Mr. Dead Quarian? However, despite the destructive capabilities and threats of the galaxy, the Geth's artificial intelligence represents a valid form of sentient awareness. And when you're boarding the heretic station with the goal of releasing a virus, to incapacitate the Geth, do you rewrite the behavioural programs or destroy them? The former represents a major violation of their rights as an intelligent species, reducing them to slaves with no power over their own actions. And the latter eradicates them. A life of slavery or a quick demise. Not an easy decision. Number 5. Deus Ex Having finally put a stop to insane billionaire Bob Page and his plans to conquer the world, you're left with a very important question of what to do with it. The first option is to side with the Illuminati and rule the world in secret, preventing anyone like Page from ever rising to power again. The second choice is merging with the Helios AI and becoming a benevolent and omnipotent ruler who answers to no one. The third option is destroying the facility and restoring power to the people. So you're left with these choices. Do you merge with the AI, join the Illuminati, or just blow the whole thing to kingdom come? Destroying the facility gives power back to the people, but it also sends the world back to the Dark Ages. On the other hand, merging the Helios grants you the complete power to make the changes you want to see in the world, but there's just something about an individual having total power and control over everything, like, I don't know, just doesn't seem like it would end that well. Then of course you could always join the Illuminati, putting non-elected groups in major positions of power throughout the world, but these positions could also easily be abused. Unfortunately, regardless of what you decide, the sequel somewhat merges all the endings together, meaning they're all canon, but just live in the moment for now and really feel the tension. Number 4. L.A. Noir, The Golden Butterfly Who done did it? That's the question, albeit better phrased, which haunts you through the L.A. Noir case the Golden Butterfly. At first, it appears to be your typical bludgeon a woman then dump her naked body in a forest type affairs, you know, standard stuff. But then things start to get complicated when you arrive at the prospect of there being two suspects for the crime, each seemingly as guilty as the other. Up to this point, Officer Phelps has been spot on the money with each case, building a solid rep and moving through the ranks. So as a player, you're instilled with a sense that no matter the obstacles, you're going to overcome them. As such, when you've interrogated the woman's husband who beat her and then was caught burning bloody shoes in an incinerator, and a known paedophile with a criminal history as long and gruesome as my John Thomas, and you're still left with a 50 
50-50 split, the dilemma is, who actually did it? Number 3. Heavy Rain Ooh, The Lizard Trial In order to save his son and collect another chip for his phone, Ethan is told to amputate one of his fingers on camera. If the player chooses to proceed, Ethan will collect all the necessary tools and place them on the nearby table. Scissors, pliers, my lacerating wit, you know the stuff. You then drink whiskey to ease the pain, place a bit of wood between your teeth and apply disinfectant. After that, a tool must be selected and an amputation carried out. And the decision you're left with is, are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? You're well within your power to simply turn around and head back the way you came, failing the trial and in the process possibly condemning your son to death, but there's just no way to know whether your sacrifice will be in vain, but it might be your only choice. Number 2. Fable 2 Defeating Lucian at the end of the game, the player is given a difficult choice between three very tantalizing propositions. Well, actually, it's a difficult choice between two of the options, as between wealth, love, or sacrifice, no one chose wealth. Money was meaningless by the end of Fable 2, and you had more ducats than you knew what to do with. So, love or sacrifice? This was actually tough. Either you bring back your loved ones, including your sister, your family, and most importantly, your sometimes awesome, sometimes ice cream for brains dog. And sacrifice was all about saving thousands of people from Lucian's spire, undoing all the years of slavery they endured, and restoring peace to the land. So it comes down to a toss-up between Sunday roast at your mum's arguing with your sister while your dog licks itself and then your face, or loads of people saved who won't have a clue you did it and won't even show a hint of gratitude. I mean, is either choice great? Maybe I should have taken the money. Number 1. The Walking Dead In the episode Starved for Help, you've had a pretty rough day. Like, rougher than the day you forgot to wear underwear to school and it was laxative curry day at the cafeteria. In this series of gruesome events, you've uncovered that the nice old farm family, the St. John's, has been cutting up and eating survivors. Naughty, naughty. And have managed to corner Danny St. John in a barn. You've got a pitchfork, he's got a smug cannibal face. The combination should be perfect, right? Wrong. For as you're preparing to make your best fork you pun, Clem has snuck into the back and is watching you. All the way through this game, you've tried to protect her from the horrors of the zombies, helping her see that Trust, understanding, and humanity is what will prevail against the horrors of the world. So the question is, do you introduce Danny to the point of justice he so deserves? Or do you show Clem that violence is not always the solution? And that's our list. Got any more times that you've been faced with a tough choice that wasn't which mountain dew to throw down your gullet? Well, drop us a message in the comment section below. And if you want a real tough choice, you can chat to me personally, but on which handle? Oh, the pressure! If you enjoyed the video, then like, share, and subscribe for more. I've been Jules of WhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.